Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to the next video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael, I am the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And here we continue in our study about the Royal Twins. And this title of this video is We Never Had an Exodus, the Royal Line of Sarah, Tamar and Judah. Brothers and sisters, the understanding is so important and is brought forth by the Lord so that we get an understanding why we are the other twin and why the two sticks must become one and why the twins have to be united again. There is a great discord in the house of Judah and this must be solved and it will be solved because in the kingdom there will be only one house of Judah, one king, one faith and complete unity. We on our line of the royal line of Sarah never had an exodus. We left that line left Egypt before the exodus took place. So we never had the experience with Moses going through the wilderness and in and Mount Sinai and meeting the Father as they had. So if we never had an exodus, but we understand that the two twins must be on an equal level, then of course we need to have our own exodus. And will we? Yes, of course. That's what we are teaching here at Triple Grace for a long time, that a great exodus is coming. Because the line of Sarah represents the lost ten tribes and it's a great multitude. We see that great multitude standing at the base of a mountain. And it's not Mount Sinai, it's Mount Zion. So we also will have our exodus towards that mountain, towards Mount Zion. will not be exactly the same as it was in the first exodus, but it will be our own exodus. So that we will also personally meet the Father, as the other line has done. But the other line has also to seek something, to, to come on the same level. And the other line, who had the Father now, is going to find the Son so that we are all equal and then the two sticks can be united, then the two houses can be united, then the twins will be united again and everything will become one. That is the purpose of what God is doing right now. That's the purpose of the two tribulations, of the seal tribulation for the house of Sarah and the trumpet tribulation for the house of Pareth so that the both will be equal on the same level and at the beginning of the millennium they will come together and will be united. We never had an exodus because our line left Egypt before the exodus. Because I always ask the Lord, Lord, why when we are part of, of the house of Judah, when we are also part of all this together, why we have to go to another mountain, why we have to to have another exodus. Why is that so important? And then the Lord said, because you belong to the other twin. You are the line of the other twin. You never had an exodus. You never met the father in the same way as the house of Paris or the, the Jews have done. Through Moses. You never had this experience. But now you will have your exodus. Now you will have your mountain. As we see in second address, Edras, Edras chapter 13 and there is clearly mentioned that this peaceful multitude that will be gathered by the Lord are the lost ten tribes and the royal bloodline of the house of Sarah. That bloodline is within us, within all of us and we inherit it with becoming Christians. We are part of the second twin of the house of Judah, the twins born by Tamar, with the union of Tamar and Judah. Our inheritance, now is it clear what is our inheritance? We are part of the royal house of Judah. And as, this, as such, as I always say, we will become, we will become the royal priest because we are part of that line. And when we do not have David in person with us, 
or Moses or Elijah, but then we will do it in the spirit of them and we will walk and fulfill our own exodus and we will be raptured into paradise at Mount Zion at the sixth year. And there the multitude closed and white will stand the lost ten tribes and the Lord is gathering them together. And from that part, the 144,000 will be sealed at that mountain. And then, then I think also the question will finally be resolved. That we will say, oh, the 144,000 must be Jews. No. But they must be from the royal houses. They must be from the royal house of Judah. And they will be. Only get the understanding that there will be twins, or that there were twins, and they have, that they have separated. And that separation must come together into unity. So, brothers and sisters, we never had an exodus. That's the reason why we are going into one, in the great exodus of the lost ten tribes, towards Mount Zion. There we will meet the Father, and there we will be finally elevated to the level that we need for the kingdom. And the Jews in the trumpet tribulation will find the Son, because it is Jesus in the first three and a half years of trumpet who will build the temple in Jerusalem. There they will meet him. Yes, then Satan will come in and they will have a bad time of tribulation until the return of Jesus feet down on the Mount of Olives. That is correct. But this is all needed so that the two twins, Jesus is always speaking to many, many, many prophets about twins, twins, yes, they are twins, they are twins. These are the twins. The Ara and Fares, the twin from Tama in Judah. And all what is coming for us is to bring the houses together, to bring the sticks together. Because it is required. It is required for the Millennium Kingdom that there is one king and one face. And this cannot be done if we cannot return to the Father and if the Jews cannot find the Son. Get this great understanding, great revelation from the Lord. We are part of the royal house of Judah. You are part of the royal house of Judah and you will become a royal priest. In the line of Judah. Brothers and sisters, get that understanding. How fantastic is this? Everything belongs. This is a kingdom. This is the royalty of the kingdom. The royal house of Judah. Two parts. Family relations. Yes, of course, we are twins. Finally, everything, everybody should stop who say, the Jews do not belong. Their time is over. They do not belong to us. Yes, they belong to us. They are our twin brother. They belong to us. Maybe not in the way that they are now, but in the way that they will be before the millennium start. Twins. The house of Sarah and the house of Fares. Great revelation from the Lord. So that you get an understanding why the sticks must come together and why everybody who says that the Jews are obsolete are completely wrong. False doctrine. Misunderstand teachings and maybe their own agenda that plays a part in it. But on the contrary, we and them, we are twins. But to come together, to be finally united again, we need to come onto the same level. That requires for us to find the Father and for them to find the Son. Then we have the Son and the Father and they have the Father and the Son. And then we can come together and the royal house of Judah will be united again. And the millennium kingdom can start under one king and one face and in unity. Brothers and sisters, be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen and Amen. Maranah.